Red, Blue and Circles 2 is the fourth episode of the second season of Barney and Friends. This is very educational with some brilliant songs. It was a little bit nostalgic for me. And as I've mentioned before, I watch Barney not just for the nostalgia. I grew up watching a lot of Barney, but also because I love to see how educational the show is. And this one is very, very educational. And the children in this one include... Tosha, Kathy, Michael and Tina, Baby Bop also makes an appearance and as the title indicates, this episode is all about shapes and colours and I don't know what it is. Well, I do know why actually. When I learn about shapes, it brings me straight back to my childhood and the lessons where the teachers would have 3D models of shapes and just learning about the sides of shapes and how many faces they have. It's just so nostalgic to me. So this definitely offers a lot of nostalgia just in the topics that it's covering. But we also have some amazing songs. I'll go through the songs in a moment. But I also want to mention a couple of things that I thought were really great in this. As I've mentioned before with Barney, what's really brilliant? One of the many brilliant things about Barney is that the activities the children do and the games they play are generally things that can be replicated at home or in the classroom. And that's certainly the case here. They were showing different shapes. For example, they used hula hoops to show a circle. And then they played a game where they all had to pick a colour and then go and find objects around the classroom that were that colour. And that's something that I would have loved to do as a child. It's something that can be done at school, in a classroom, or at home, or even when you're out and about to keep children amused. Kind of like the game where you have to spot a car of a certain colour, but maybe to a, a wider extent. So I really have a lot of praise for the episode with the games and the activities. It makes learning fun and very practical. And then we have some brilliant songs. So I will go through the songs now. Oh, and before I forget... Uh, Tina had a cast on her arm because apparently she broke her arm. So I think that that's something that could provide some children with an element of comfort if they are also unfortunately facing a broken arm. So I thought that was uh, very interesting as well. Then the songs we have. We have Pop Goes the Weasel, but the the lyrics to this version are different to the version of Pop Goes the Weasel that I grew up with, which I thought was pretty fascinating. Then we have Painting the Shapes, and this one involves colours and shapes because they're using sponges in different shapes to then do um, paint prints, which I thought was uh, absolutely delightful. And Barney made a rainbow, which gave us the rainbow song, which I absolutely adore. It's not one that I remember from my childhood, but it's one that I've actually discovered or maybe rediscovered through watching Barney, and it's just such a delight. Then we have Old Brass Wagon. And then we have My Yellow Blankie with Baby Bop, of course. I'm not the biggest fan of Baby Bop. I don't dislike the character, but I'm not the biggest fan. I don't know how I felt as a child. I can't remember how I felt. But certainly now, I'm not that bothered about Baby Bop. I find Baby Bop's appearances to be very repetitive. But it doesn't bother me too much. Then we have Wave the Flags. And, uh, of course, we end with I Love You. And we have a, a brilliant selection of songs, a lot of practical activities that can be replicated at home or in the classroom, and a lot of great opportunities for learning. Definitely no complaints from me at all. I think Red, Blue and Circles 2 is a really brilliant episode.